Welcome to the Builders Risk Outlook. I'm Alan Ferguson, President of US Assure. In looking at where we are in the Builders Risk market today, we're really still focused on four key components or four key areas uh, that really have an impact on single family construction. And that is really the demand for housing. Uh, when we look at that demand for housing, we kind of see how it interacts with things like the impact of inflation, such as interest rates going up, the impact of supply chain disruption or issues in lagging and getting building materials on site installed in homes, as well as the lack of skilled labor. And that's another area where as a contractor, there's concern in the delays approaching that. So as we try to solve, or as contractors try to solve that demand issue that's there, there's still that 3 million home shortfall in the United States housing market today. All those other three factors are a constant pushing and pulling against how we satisfy the need or satisfy that demand on a go forward basis. Demand is by far the most significant driver of what we're seeing in housing today. That demand exists. It doesn't shift. It doesn't go away. How the contractor market, how the resale market uh, interacts with that demand, how people are able to take advantage of supply and demand issues from a pricing availability standpoint, we think really will drive the success of construction, particularly single family construction, throughout the remainder of this year. So since we talk about demand being the key factor here, really how we're satisfying that demand is two different levels in today's current housing market. There's this resale or this rush to purchase the resale market. So over the last 12 months, we've seen a significant falling of housing inventory available for sale as people rush to the market to really go after those few homes with those extra dollars that were floating our economy. So that impact on housing and the demand as such is really truly a supply side issue. They were just more buyers than homes to be bought. On the new construction side, we see something a little bit different affecting the price, and that is inflation. As we look at the consumer price index, really those six to eight point increases month over month over month, those building materials, those hard goods, those appliances that are going in that home are really driving that price point up. What that's done on the demand front, or the satisfaction of the demand, is roughly 30% of new home buyers in the US today are millennials. Those are folks that are first time home buyers. That demand and that inflationary push on the pricing is really squeezing that segment out of the market. So that demand is still there, it's just not being met today, which is one of the reasons we're pretty bullish that as contractors settle down, figure a way to solve that need, that single family entry level home will come back into the market for that part of the buying segment as well. So overall, as builders look at that demand, really there's an index out there that we call the housing market index. And this is a monthly survey of every single family contractor in the country where they really ask three questions. How are they rating good, fair, or not fair? Current sales conditions, the traffic of existing home buyers through their existing projects, and their sales expectations really over the next six months. And ultimately, when you take those three numbers, they aggregate up to a composite rating. That rating today is 77. While it's down a couple points over the prior month, it's important to note that anything over 50 is considered most builders having a positive outlook on construction going forward or their confidence level going forward. If you take those three factors and you split them up, the 77 is really being driven primarily by a dip in the traffic of existing buyers. So what contractors are seeing today is the number of folks coming through those model homes is significantly lower than it was just three or four months ago. That is primarily being driven by the rise in interest rates over the last four or five months where we've seen rates get up to about five and a quarter from where just three or four months ago they were two points below that. So that's the idea behind that builder confidence. So they're still confident. Their current sales conditions, they rated about an 85. And when they look at what they expect to happen over the next really six months, it's above about a 73, which is up after a 10 point decline in the month of March. So that's a key indicator that shows contractors are still confident in what's going on. More importantly, when you look at those ratings on a geographic basis, on a three month moving average, those contractors in the South and the Western part of the United States are still respectively at an 80 and 89 level from their confidence, whereas those folks in the Northeast and the Midwest are hovering around that 72 to 69, which is bringing that national number down to that 77. Overall, U.S. Assure is still extremely bullish on single family housing on a go forward basis. As we look at the statistics through the first four months of this year, we see housing permits roughly at a level of 1.7 million, and we see housing starts at a level of roughly 1.6 million. The key indicator that's underlying those numbers is that when you look at single family starts and single family permits alone, they're both over 1 million on an annual basis. That is an indication of an extremely healthy single family housing market. As contractors continue to meet that demand or find creative ways to meet that demand for housing, it's an excellent opportunity for insurance agents to get out in front of what's going on in their 
community or their local area and really solve the needs for those contractors, whether it be the contractor who's building that entry level single family home out front for those on a builder's standpoint and or those individual contractors who are satisfying the remodeling need for the baby boomers who might be trading out of the larger homes back to more simplified life. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.